Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Indolis and welcome back to Sky Bees. I don't know what that bee was doing. Um, the bees are weird. Anyways, welcome back to Sky Bees. In the last episode, we were working on getting a bunch of different blocks. Netherite, uranium, uranite, uh, just a bunch of different things that we needed so that we could start getting bees into all of these apiaries. And I went ahead and made another set of them. Um, I'm really proud of these and the platform itself is done. Um, this took so much resources. Uh, so the gold and the iron we get from sifting, um, the granite, uh, diorite, and there should be some andesite somewhere around here, um, back here. Uh, the andesite and all of those, uh, we can get pretty easily just by throwing stone into the mana pool and, um, just cycling through all that stuff. But the emeralds and diamonds required three each of their respective uh, gems, plus cobblestone in the combiner, which is something we made last time. Uh, redstone and lapis were like 16, and coal is 8. But we have ore cave B and ore cave A. Um, ore cave A is actually completely filled. Um, this is completed and done and everything, and we are getting resources from this so yeah um granted we had a lot of resources previously from uh from these guys but uh we are still working on uh i think the only thing left in this one is actually the sulfur um salt is already done so yeah um i probably need to rearrange things i might wait until it's night um these bees do tend to go into the hives at night but um if I rearrange things, the salt block, which we get salt from sifting, um, and it was just a matter of uh, four salt together will make a salt block. Um, but yeah, I have a bunch of bees now. Um, I have nickel, silver, tin, copper, uh, aluminum, osmium, lead, um, and then I have both the, the uranium and raw uranite. I just haven't bred them. I didn't feel like doing that before this episode, so, um, and those will go into those two. So... Currently, we only have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five more apiaries to actually make, and we're done. Um, we have all the, we'll have all the bees, and it's just going to be a matter of automating the resource collection and all that kind of fun stuff. So, all things considered, not too bad. Um, I'll be able to destroy this thing, and it'll be great. So, um, yeah, I'm going to work between episodes. I'm probably going to do... Uh, I might make another platform and I might make the metal. Um, there's still a couple of bees here and there that I still need to get. Um, one of them that I can't get right now that I was supposed to, uh, is, uh, which one was it? Was it rubber? I believe, yeah, the rubber bees. I cannot make yet because I don't have slimy bees. Um, but I can get slimy bees, I just haven't yet. So, there's a lot of things to do. But today, uh, we're going to kind of step away from a little bit of that stuff. Now, one of the big things that I should mention is I wanted to do a bunch of things with uh, mechanisms. Specifically, I wanted to make the solar generator. Uh, we can't. Uh, short, short answer on that one is we can't. We don't have enough osmium. And so um, I'm going to prioritize getting the metal bees, uh, specifically the osmium bees, up and running so that I can start collecting honeycombs and getting more osmium we have a ton of steel at this point and so things like that is just what we need to do so what we're going to do today is we're going to build a couple of machines and um one of the big things is power storage for mechanism the basic energy cube which we might upgrade um to an advanced energy cube maybe um and then we are going to start looking at something that is well, in game, um, to say the least, but it's something that we need to do because if we want to have all of our B products um, automatically kind of brought in, we're going to need to run piping underneath the platform. And so I need to be able to fly. Uh, and I would like to be able to fly creatively. So the angel ring is the ring for us. Um, we can make some of this stuff. Uh, if we can get some dragon scales, that would require us to go to the inn. we got to get an elytra. There's a lot of 
things to do before we can get to that point. But um, we can start working on a little bit of it. There's some things that we need to get from other mods. Um, but yeah, this is very much a late game thing, considering it requires a block of Ender Stars, which is Nether Stars. Um, and I think that was the only thing that was really majorly bad, uh, other than the Elytras. So, nothing too major. We just gotta kind of start getting to work on that. But, first things first, food has become a little bit of an issue. And we have all this honey, and the honeyed apples are great. But we don't really have a good way of getting apples. Well, until I discovered something. Um, we can sift leaves and get a ton of apples from these. And, in fact, we can also get things like um, silkworms is the other big thing. And I swore... Uh, if we sift this, uh, we have emerald. So we're, we're going to get oak saplings, but we also have a chance to get, oh, it's a very small chance, um, like maybe 2% to get a golden apple. I know that's not how percentages work and odds, but, um, yeah, very, very, very low chances of getting a, um, uh, golden apple but at the same time i can just sift a bunch of leaves from shears which i can get pretty easily and not only just get a ton of um uh, silkworms and saplings but also a ton of apples and even a golden apple every once in a while so this is probably going to be my food source until we can get the dadcraft bee um because that uh that particular bee gives us some really good food um, for free, so that's probably what we'll eat for most of, uh, the rest of the series. So, yeah, I got well over a stack of apples, so we can, we can just transfer and start eating apples. Um, I'm going to put some stuff away in here, and then we can get to work. So, um, yeah, what we're going to do today to start off with is I want to make, uh, first of all, I want to make a machine that is going to be a little bit better. Um, I want to make an energized smelter. So that is going to require two basic control circuits. So we're going to need two of these. Uh, and we're also going to need some glass. Not a big deal. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So, I think we can use any type of glass. We'll just use normal. Eh, let's use the gray stained glass. Why not? By the way, I, I should mention, um, we have the little lantern in there. The glass is gray glass, uh, gray stained. And then the tops have slabs of stone, diorite, uh, granite, and andesite. So, we have a little bit of everything. And I tried to be kind of creative about things. Um, there's not actually a redstone block underneath this one. But uh, I like how I have redstone in this corner, so that's where the redstone bee is. Um, emeralds and gold. It kind of looks like it fits. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, I, I really like how these turned out. They look really good to me. Uh, we're going to do something similar for the dark um, cave with the mobs. But uh, the metals, we're going to do something more akin to the factory. So that's kind of the plan for that. Uh, so we have the basic control circuit. Let's go ahead and throw a couple iron in there. Uh, and we should be able to make an energized smelter. Perfect. So the energized smelter, apart from being a quest, do we have any more cables? No. Not the cables that I care about. So we'll just put that there. Uh, so the energized smelter basically is just a smelter. It Actually, we're gonna we're gonna move things. We're gonna put this here because we're not gonna actually use it right now. Um, and then we will we'll move some things around in a moment. So um, we need. Let's see. We have the energized smelter. Uh, we need to get a basic energy cube. Now to get these, we need some energy tablets, and we actually need two of those. And that should be everything to make the energy cube. Now, we have a basic. And if we look at the quest, which we can go into mechanism. Um, one, the energized smelter is there. 
Uh, we'll get all of the factory stuff later. Um, we'll get to that when we need to. But the basic, the basic energy cube can be turned into an advanced energy cube um, with just a little bit more infused. And so we need what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think we can handle that. And eventually I want to make another metallurgic infuser uh, because that is going to be useful for making um, so that we can have one that's dedicated to redstone, one dedicated to diamond, um, refined obsidian, all that kind of stuff. So it's, it's a little bit more useful. We need some osmium, just two osmium, and then we're going to need six gold. Okay. So once this is done processing, at the very least, we should be able to get, um... We should be able to get the energy tablets at the very least and get two of those. And then we just need the four of these. Uh, and that, that'll be that. So making the tier two, so we're going to go from 1.6 million FE or RF, as I'll probably call it a lot of times. They're the same thing. Um, it used to be called RF because that's what a mod called it. It was um, Redstone Flux. And then later on, um, it got turned to FE, which is um, Forge Energy or something like that, uh, which is just more universal. So uh, we're going to be going from 1.6 million to 6.4 million, which is pretty good. That is a decent upgrade. And then we can always upgrade this later um, to get even more. So what we're going to do is we're going to just put this thing quite literally right here. Um, and we're going to side configure it. So um, energy, we're going to put output there, output on the back, input on the right. And that should work just fine. We just got to come in here. And I've got the wires. We'll put that there and link this up. And that should start getting plenty of energy. So obviously that's going to fill up. It's probably going to drain the capacitor that's up here. It's going to take some time. Yeah, the capacitor is draining. The Stop it. Oh my gosh. Oh, rabbits. Um, so yeah, the capacitor is drained, but um, it'll give me a little bit better idea of just kind of what kind of power we have. And we can also use this energy cable right back here to hook up the uh, smelter. So we can just let that kind of go and it'll be fine. Eventually we'll get plenty of power. So that is all for that. Um, now, for the rest of today's episode, what we're going to do is we're going to work on this angel ring. Uh, and before we can make the angel ring, we have to make a diamond ring. And that's going to require a lot of things that we don't have access to right now. One of the big things we need is star metal ingots. So we got to get star metal ore, which is starlight transmutation, which requires a crystal lens. We're going to try to get this. We need to do some astral sorcery stuff so it is night perfect time to do that kind of stuff um we're gonna need a rock crystal we're gonna need some marble um i'm going to need to put the light well down and probably grab some stuff um what's it called starlight liquid starlight so let's look at the astral tome because there is something that we need uh it's probably in discovery uh, no, not in discovery. Uh, attunement, exploration, probably exploration. So we need to get something. Yes, right there it is. We need to get some infused wood. Um, soaking wood into liquid starlight results in the liquid being drawn and cool. So basically we just throw some wood into some starlight and we'll get what we want. Um, so we need to go grab some, uh, just a plank of wood. And you know what? Our bees will 
all asleep they are. Uh, mostly. Enough that I'm not going to hurt any of them. So, what I want to do... Uh, let's see, we've got to wait. I want to wait for the salt bee to go back into a hive. I want to grab the salt block and I want to put it somewhere else. And we're going to put it here um, because that is where we need to put it. Uh, <laughs> that, that's going to be the easiest place to place it. Uh, and to make the salt, we just do that. It's like clay. Uh, it is effectively is clay. But we can put that there. Put that there. And we're going to be... We're going to be smart. Maybe. Uh, let's go grab a... Man, I'm going to run out of time. It is going to become day before I am ready. Uh, what time is it currently? Oh yeah, it's going to be day. Uh, let's, let's just go ahead and finish this while there's not too many bees. Um, but I want to put the flower here. And what is it? F3B? Um, I would like... Uh-oh. Well, one of those coal bees are going to die. Uh, I think. I hope not. I hope they're just angry. But I can't tell. Okay, anyways. Um, F3B. I tried. I have extra bees, so it's not that big of a deal. And plus, coal bees we can make. So those two are fine. That one is going to die. Um, okay, so we're going to lose one. And I don't think they'll be angry uh, in a very in very long, so we can hopefully go ahead and deal with that. So we have <laughs> some light. Um, and I think, how do I do this? Uh, let's see. Because I actually don't remember. I, I've done this before, like, once. I've never really worked too much with Astral Sorcery just because of... Um, yeah, it's just never been something I've done too much with. So let's, oh, I remember, I remember now. Um, so we can store liquid starlight pretty easily. Uh, let's go ahead and put a container of it just right here. And what we do is we just literally throw it in there and it converts. Um, so I think our Colby probably died. Uh, can we... Yeah, there's two Colbys in there. Let's go ahead and... I accidentally hit one. It's awful. I feel bad, but it happens. Um, that's why I keep extras. That's why I have backups. Uh, especially for the ones that are a lot harder to, to get. Uh, the Colbys are very easy to breed, but... Um, I do try to make sure that I have extras and whatnot. Uh, right, Colby's don't breed with that. They they breed with coal. Uh, did I? Okay. I thought it looked like I missed a block. Uh, I'm always worried about that. All right, so uh, enough floundering. Um, let's get some coal. And we're going to get this Starlight Trans... Uh, or the Crystal Lens, I think is what it's called. Um, we're going to get that today, and then hopefully by the night we can use it. So you and you make me another Colby. Because I know the one died. I saw that it didn't have a stinger. So that should be fine. Uh, I'll keep an eye and make sure there's uh, the right number of bees in there, but should be fine. So we need to get this crystal lens. Uh, and to get this, we're going to need uh, a rock crystal, um, two engraved uh, wood. So to get those, um, we just need to get the planks. And everything has to be done 
in a luminous crafting table, which we'll just put right here. And we can't do anything until night with that. So let's get the other stuff. We're going to need rune marble. Let's check one thing. Um, if we can, nope, okay. So we're gonna need the rune marble and we're going to need two aquamarine and three glass lenses. The glass lenses are uh, a lot of aquamarine and glass. So nothing too difficult to get, just kind of gotta wait. Um, so let's get a little bit of aquamarine. And one of the, the next things that I'm gonna want to do is to make the better um, centrifuge because we're going to need to process a lot of things and it would be nice to be able to process things quickly. Um, we're also going to need a single piece of gold. So let's see, four, we need 12 for the lenses. Um, so 14 aquamarine in total. We have more than enough. And I'm just going to throw this stuff in here. Put whatever we can in there which is nothing um, I've been slowly taking everything out of here um, because it makes the most sense to me but uh, yeah so we just need some glass panes and a piece of gold and we'll be able to get access to a little bit more stuff so the big thing with the starlight infusion is we need to have uh, we need to have some iron ore and luckily for us that is really easy we have almost a stack um, we're gonna get like 16 I think um, so we use the crystal lens we can convert a bunch of things to other things um, we can get magma blocks to obsidian we can turn pumpkins to cake I don't know why you'd want to do some of this stuff nether wart blocks to soul sand that's kind of nice um, but the big thing is iron ore to star metal ore. And then the star metal ore, we can smelt up. And it looks like the only thing we can do is smelt it to get star metal ingots. And this stuff is used for a lot of things, um, but we need eight of them. That is the big thing. We're probably going to need more later, but we'll worry about that later. Um, that's not that big of a deal. So we have the glass panes. We just need to wait for night at this point. And there is a guy over there, uh, a pigman. So one, two, three. I'm assuming that we have uh, four bees, uh, but we'll kind of go from there. So let's look at what else is in this diamond ring. Um, that is the first step. So we need one, two, eight blocks of mana diamonds. Um, that is actually really easy. Um, we just have to kind of have enough mana. And we have enough for two. Okay. So we'll have to get some more mana. Um, I probably should do some work with Batania at some point. Uh, and make better, better flowers, better everything. But we'll get there. So, I guess we can start putting things in here, because um, it does remember. So we'll just do that. And we're going to need a couple more things. So let's get these armored jetpacks if we can. Diamond dust, steel blocks, steel. Okay, so we're gonna need like two osmium. I don't really wanna use any osmium because I need an osmium block for osmium bees uh, so we'll hold off on that jetpack um, but we also need to make two emerald jetpacks which require diamond jetpacks uh, steel iron stone wood wood jetpacks because that sounds really really useful so we need two of those um, let's go grab a bunch of wood and let's see what we can do so, um, first things first, wood jetpack. Uh, so we're going to need a leather strap. We're gonna need two of these. So we need to just make two of everything. 
And this is something that we could use to fly around, obviously, but um, uh, we might as well work towards the angel ring because it is so much better. So we're going to need um, six of these. And so we're gonna need a bunch of iron and redstone and some sticks. So let's see, there's three. Yeah, we need one, two, three, four, five, six. And we should be able to make uh, four of those. And five, six. And then we should be able to get two wood capacitors. That is the next step. Uh, and then we need four wood thrusters. So we're going to need uh, 16 more of these basic coils. Ugh. So I don't think we have enough resources quite yet. Um, I should have another chest lying around. Uh, let's go ahead and put a chest right here. And we're going to dump things that we need for uh, the diamond ring in there because I just don't have enough stuff right now. Um, there is a lot of stuff we need. So we can dump more stuff in here. That is fine. Uh, and I can, I can get a lot of resources later pretty easily just from, you know, collecting what we need. But uh, these jetpacks are going to be really expensive. Um, because the basic coils are used for the stone thrusters and the wooden ones and Then if we want to make so the wood jetpack we can make even either a copper or a stone um, The copper we can make we'd have to make iron from that. So we'll probably go with the stone uh, Then to the iron or would the silver be better? iron gold Diamond? Do we even have access to platinum? No. Uh, so diamond, emerald. And that is that is expensive. So it is almost night. Um, we can get to crafting everything we need for the starlight infusion. And let's actually go look and see if I can remember how it works. Um, so infused wood... Um, is it in attunement? Yes. So crystal lens, um, make sure you have a nice, uh, make sure you have a nice crystal. Uh, we can actually look at the crystals we have. Size, shape. Collection rate is good. Um, purity and shape. Uh, let's go with this one. It's small, but it's got a good shape and it's got collection rate. So that is um, good. So if we look at see crystal attunement, we don't want that. Um, focusing... Starlight, is there a way? I think the linking tool, that's right. We need the linking tool, which we already have. Um, that is how we do this stuff. So infuse wood, um, we can hit it, pretty easy. Uh, and then we can also get, we need only three of these. And we just smack it. Um, I don't know that it makes all of the recipe. It does. Okay. And then there is a flare. I don't know what flares are about, but okay. Um, the infused wood we need to turn into the engraved. And then we should be able to do rune marble, gold, um, rock crystal, 
uh, aquamarine, I believe, glass panes, and the wood. So, cool. That should be what we need for for the crystal lens. And apparently it made three of them that have good shapes. Okay, that that's fine. Um, we're gonna put one, two, three. Oh, the flare broke. Um, I heard glass breaking. It's like, what? Why did that happen? So if we put these, one, two, three, and then link Um, link, link, no, link. Okay, I don't know how the linking tool works. Oh, do you just have to link, 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 link. Presumably that will work, but I don't know. Uh, let's see. As the lens focuses, selecting both distance and angle. Okay, so the housing of the lens can be. I don't think this is working. So let's break these. And let's link this to that but do we need a collector crystal let's let's try this okay so we can put a collector crystal like here and i am just messing around i don't actually remember how to do this part it's kind of weird but we can link this to this and that, right? Oh, there we go. And if we put more iron ore there, it works just fine, cool. So we can hit multiple at the same time. So link that to that to that. And then we can just do this. And as long as I put these blocks in the same exact place, um, they will get converted. So that is star metal. Um, okay, so we did need the collector crystal. Uh, that is not that big of a deal. But we are just going to quickly get all 16 of these and then we're gonna go smelt them up because why not and honestly I think I'm gonna go ahead and break everything back down uh, and then we can use it later if we need to so that was actually a lot easier than I thought <laughs> um, let's eat and we can look at the quest book we got access to the astral sorcery we did the star metal. Um, there's still a few more things we can do, um, but I'm not too worried about jumping into astral sorcery too much, but we need to smelt up at least eight of these. And so we might as well do that right here. You can see that the smelter is using power, which how much power do we have in here now? Um, half a million. So that is going to give us the star metal ingots. And with that, we can be one step closer to getting our uh, diamond ring for the angel ring. So it's it's going to take some time. It's going to take some effort, but we'll get there. And um, honestly, we just need to kind of, I need to just work and get some more bees set up and make sure we have enough resources next time for everything that I want to do. So kind of the plan from here. Other than me getting all the bee stuff, obviously, um, we need to do a couple of things. Um, one big thing that we need to do is start getting a lot more resources. And with that, I kind of want to start making the centrifuge, um, the multi-block 
centrifuge. It requires um, three by four by three. And that is a lot. Um, but we can process all of our combs pr hopefully fairly quickly. Um, that is the, the plan anyways. So to do that, we're going to need a lot of blocks of steel. So I'm going to get um, to work on that. And what we might want to do is energize those a little bit uh, more simply. Uh, so what we're going to kind of do is this. Um, I'm going to work on getting bees. Um, the metal bees is kind of the next set that I'm going to work on uh, so that we can get the advanced solar generator. Uh, with that, we're going to work on getting the uh, power, uh, power, the energizing rods that are better. So the basic ones um, requires just some quartz, but then we can get the harden, which also require quartz. They require hardened capacitors, which requires energized steel, um, which is really easy to make. We can potentially get blazing. Um, oh yeah, we can get blazing. Can we get uh, niotic? Probably. That's a little bit expensive on energy, but we can at least get up to blazing tier and then start energizing a little bit better. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to start setting up um, for our machine area and for our house. Um, our house is probably going to have the solar panels on top of it um, because we're going to have the refined storage system here with all the all of the wonderful um, Oh, uh, what's it called? It's just the center. Uh, all of the wonderful automation and auto crafting. Um, but yeah, so I need to get resources together to make uh, some upgrades. And one of the big things is power. Once we have actual power, not power, um, we can make upgrades to power and go from there. So that's kind of the plan. That's the idea anyways. So we're going to end things off here and I'm going to build up some more apiaries and hopefully next time we'll be good to go with uh, more stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.